We're at Stank of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The only place where you can eat barbecue while watching players get barbecued. I can't stop thinking about barbecue. Is it obvious? Barbecue. Mm-mm good. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New London Patriots take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pot pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that's a pick. And now the court. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. One, two, one. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the defense gets another pick. Man, boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that player has one speed. He's the bullet in the offense. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. You know, before this guy was in the Mutant Football League, I believe he was in uh, the Human League. Finally, league! Yeah, they didn't want him. Well, I was going to hit him now. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. the field for months after that hit. Yeah, you have to admire him, Grim. He really leaves his heart on the field. And his liver, and his lungs, oh, and his skull.
And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? First down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. He dies and fumbles the ball. And no, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Because, you know, they're all monsters. Point taken. He's hit the 40. The 30. He's hit the 20. The 10. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Not since 
when is that a penalty? Well, since now, I guess, Grim. First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. Second down and ten. First and ten. Oh, and he laterals at the last second. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he runs it for four yards. Four. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. Sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will get it on the 20. And it's first and 10. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him? Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. First in and three. You can't keep a good And the defense gets in the... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bing 
with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And the bank gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third down and three. exams in high school because of that death blow one hitter we made in shop class. And it's first and ten. Gives up five yards there. Second down and five. That, my friends, was an all pro MFL hit. And that'll bring up third down and seven. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls quarterback passes for a touchdown. Yeah, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without hats, remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, oh, my bad. Third down and ten. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a prime grip. That cross stitching, unbelievable. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. 
And it's first and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. and stumbling he could go all the way and it's first and ten for the extra point. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. Second down and ten. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you shut of a bitch. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Second down and a lot. <laughs> now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he... There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks match. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> and it's.
It's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. Second down and two. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And that'll bring up third and one. Anyone in the mood for Newton Tartar? Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Does the QB know which team... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, Ben. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hop. Why did he leave, Bricks? Well, people kept dipping their chips in him. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. down and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up third and one. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't Right now, what day is it? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Well, he made the 
the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Second down and ten. <laughs> And he picks up about six on the play. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Third and four. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the can. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. And that's why they call it the money shot. He's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Britt's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20. He's at the 10. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand points of shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the real guy. The Carolina Panzers blitz the opposition until there is no one left. They win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. There I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcast.